Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Justin Owens. I'm a worship leader and songwriter here in Nashville, Tennessee. And today we're going to take a look at one of the new songs by Elevator Stream Worship called Authority. And just like normal, I'm going to show you how to play it on acoustic guitar. I'm going to teach you how to lead it, uh, lead it to your worship team and to your congregation. And then scripture that goes hand in hand with this song to empower it. So let's dive right on in. First and foremost, this song is in the key of C and the time signature is 4-4. Four, four. The intro is basically just there's a piano riff that's playing, and they're uh, sustaining the one there for several bars. Um, and then they're going to move into verse one here. So verse one is going to be six minor, four, and one. The six minor and four are going to share the same bar, so they'll get two beats apiece. And then that progression is going to repeat. And then they're going to do six minor, four. Those two are going to share the same bar and then one back to the four, and those two are gonna share the same bar. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then at the end of that verse, it's gonna to go to the six minor and five, and those two are gonna share the same bar, and then to the one, okay? And then that verse progression is just gonna repeat. They're gonna go into, into verse two. And so just for clarity's sake, once again, I'm gonna play through verse one, one, two, three, four. Creation knows the voice that spoke into the void. The breath that brought the dust to light and sang the stars to fall. Just like that. That's verse one. And then they go into verse two, repeating the same progression, different lyrics. And then from there, they're going to go into chorus number one. Chorus number one is going to be one, four, one over three, and then back to the four. And that's going to repeat. Each of those chords are going to get a full bar. What I'm doing for the one over three, if you want to see, if you want to play just the, the top note of that, there's a few other chords in this song that are uh, like a one over five, one over three. If you want to just play the top note, which is the one, you're more than welcome to do that. All that I'm doing is instead of muting the top E string, I'm just letting it go. So the three is, is E minor. So I'm just adding that into my C shape, okay? And for clarity's sake, I'm just going to sing through the chorus here real quick, okay? This is the chorus. One, two, three, four. One word from you. Things change on your authority. Your word, it's true. And into the intro again, which is just one, and they're going to do that for a couple of bars. And then they're going to go into verse number three. The only shift in verse number three is that they're going to add a four at the end of those progressions. Uh, so every chord in this verse is going to get two beats, okay? So it's going to go like this. There's going to be, it's going to be six minor, four, one, and four. So one, two, three, four, one, two three, four. And that progression is actually going to repeat three times. So six minor four, one, and four. That's going to repeat three times. On that fourth line, we've got our six minor to the five, and then sustaining full of, for a full bar on the one. Okay, so I'm just going to play through uh, the verse. I won't sing it here, but this is the count for that. One, two, three, four. Five and to the one, two, three, chorus. And after verse three, they're going to go into another chorus. They'll repeat that chorus and then into our bridge number one. Bridge number one is going to be repeated twice. Lyrically, it's the same, and they're going to repeat it twice. The chords for that are going to be one, six minor, a one over five which if you want to just play the one, the C, you can do that. All I'm doing is adding 
um, the uh, the G note, the root G note on the third fret E string. So like you would play a G, I'm playing C shape, but then with my pinky, I'm adding that G on there as well. I, I do that a lot. I'm usually playing. I love the the tonality of that whenever I'm playing in C shape. So I'm usually playing that anyways. So that's that's a little natural for me. But anyways, so once again, uh, bridge starts off on the one, and then six minor, one over five, and then four. Okay, and then that's going to repeat. So you'll have two uh, lines of that, and then they're going to go back into ver uh, bridge one and repeat that again. So all of that is going to be the same, and then they'll go into bridge number two, which lyrically is a little bit different, um, and but the chords are going to be the exact same: one, six minor, one over five, and four. Okay, and then after that, they go back into another really big chorus, and then from there they go into a final bridge, uh, which is going to be bridge number three. Uh, I think it's going to be the same lyrics as bridge two, but the chords are different. Um, and if I hadn't already mentioned, all of these chords are going to get a full bar. Um, but these are the chords for bridge number three, okay? It's going to be one, four, one over three, and four. So the same chords as the chorus. And then that last line is going to be a one over five, or you can just play the one, six minor, one over three, and then they do two bars of the four and then end on the one, okay? And that's basically it. That's how you play Authority by Elevation Worship. And I think it's a great song. It's a really powerful song. I love even just the title, Authority, thinking about the authority of Christ. And there is so much authority in his name, and uh, we possess that as well. Uh, but I want to uh, move along now into the next part of this video. So if you're getting value out of this video, let me know in the comments below. Hit that like button and uh, dive in here with me. Don't, don't, don't skip out yet. Let's, let's learn how to lead this song. Um, to our church and to our worship team, okay? But, Talking about this song, um, it's, it's a very powerful song, and it, and it really gives the, uh, the glory and the, the honor due the name of Christ, um, and it speaks that authority to him. It says that, that you're the one that possesses the authority to make things happen, and you know we surrender to that authority. Uh, verse 3, for instance, says, My fight is not my own, it's in its end is in your hands. I worship you because I know all things must bow at your command. And so we, there's an acknowledgement of the security that we have in Christ. And it, and it talks about the power in his voice, the power that he possessed and had, the authority he had to be able to speak creation into existence, to be able to drive darkness out, and to know that that's the same God that resides in us and gives us that same authority and power through the work of the Holy Spirit to be able to uh, to see the will of God come to life through our obedience, right, and our acceptance. And there's another Elevation song here. We're going to do a tutorial on that one next. It's called Available. This one is equally another powerful song, and it, it's, a, it's a song of surrender. And so maybe if you are sharing this with your church, the way that you can empower your worship team and your congregation is to understand and know that the Spirit of God, that same power that spoke existence into existence, even even the word existence, that spoke time into existence, he lives in us as believers. The Holy Spirit, that same power resides in us. And there should be, uh, we should be able to take comfort in that. We should be able to take security in that to know that if God is for us, who can be against us? As the bridge says, for if my God is with me, who have I to fear? I will not deny him the glory that is due to him, right? And that's what we are supposed to do. That's what our responsibility is to give that glory to God, to be able to steward our church, our congregation to a place where they know and understand that and they give him the honor and praise that he is worthy of. Moving on into scripture, the first thing that comes to mind is, is Deuteronomy 31, 6, the verse talking about be strong and courageous and not to fear. And I'll actually read it so that it's not... So I don't butcher it here. It says, be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them for the Lord, your God who goes with you. He will not leave you or forsake you. That is a promise from God. And it is yes and amen because of Jesus, right? Another scripture would be in, uh, I believe it was first Samuel. It's I, I think I, I, maybe chapter 24. We're actually reading through 
uh, First and Second Samuel right now at church in our small group, and uh, talking about the story of David and Saul. Love the David the I love the story of David and Saul, and that part where David is in the cave and he uh, is hiding from Saul, and then Saul is placed in the cave. I believe by God, God led Saul to the cave there, and David has the opportunity to to kill to to kill Saul, but he chooses not to. And I believe it's because David, um, he recognizes and accepts that that God anointed and appointed Saul as king over Israel, and that hadn't changed yet. Saul was still the king of Israel, and so he wasn't. He was choosing not to kill Saul, not because you know I would say because he was afraid or um, because he was fearful of of what might happen. I'm sure that was all a part of it, but additionally because he honored the Lord and he put his faith and his trust in God and not in his circumstance. And in the end, God had the ultimate authority, say, sovereignty, control over who was king of Israel at the time. And that is faith. That is trust. That is, that is, I I can't even imagine what, what David was going through at that time to be able to, to say, you know what, I'm not going to kill Saul because it's not my place. Wow. Like the, wow. That was ultimate faith and belief belief in God, and it was belief in his authority. And likewise, we need to put our faith and trust in the authority of God, in the will of God, and surrender to that, to know that no matter what happens, no matter what circumstance we're put in, if we're put in a situation similar to our life being threatened like, like David was with Saul, granted, Lord, prayerfully that doesn't happen, we believe that God is going to be sovereign over that situation. He is faithful. He's going to take care of it. He is the one that's going to be the one that gets the glory in the end. You know, and verse three really speaks that to me. Like my fight is not my own. The end, its end is in your hands. I worship you because I know all things must bow at your command. It's so powerful. And that's so true when it comes to that, that story of, of David and Saul. And it probably is true with you in whatever circumstance you're facing right now. And maybe there's a, 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 something that you need to just surrender. You need to put your faith and trust in God right now and acknowledge and declare that you possess the Holy Spirit, the authority, the power of Christ within you. He is for you. He is not against you. I hope that this was encouraging to you. I hope you've learned something. I hope you've been able to apply um, what you're learning on guitar with the song, with scripture, to be able to go lead well. It's not just about learning the song on guitar. It's about learning what the Bible says and being able to lead well to our congregations and our churches. Um, and anyways, I, this is a great song. I love it. I'm really excited about leading this potentially in the future. And uh, if you want to see more just like this, uh, there's going to be more elevation tutorials here very soon over the next week, two weeks. Let me know in the comments below, which one off the new record would you guys like to see? And, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go from there, but make sure you subscribe, hit the like button and we'll see you in the next video.